This is Marty with Zion Eyes. On today's episode, I'm at the 24-hour comic book contest down at the City Library. Um, the challengers today will produce a comic book, a 24-page comic book in 24 hours. Um, I'm following a guy named Matt Taggart. He's a local comic book artist uh, to see how well he does today. I'm Matthew Taggart. I'm at the City Library in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm about to start, well, I've kind of already started my 24-hour uh, comic. And basically, like, uh, I did this last year, and this year I've decided I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to try uh, using watercolors, and I'm not going to, like, go crazy and, like, have the whole thing in full color, but I'm just going to kind of do, like, outlines like that, and hopefully that'll give me a little bit of an edge. This is page one. My name is Mimi Cruz. I'm the manager for Night Flight Comics over here at the City Library. Today is 24-hour comic day, and the challenge is to create 24 pages in 24 hours. So we have a variety of artists and writers that have to start from scratch, and they've started at 10 a.m. today to write and draw 24 pages in 24 hours. So what page are you on? <clears throat> I am on page five right now. This is the part where the ducks actually come into play, because so far it's had very little to do with ducks. It's had more to do with the king. What's the king all about? Well, what happens is this king is like, you know, he's, a, he's obviously a warrior king, but he's also like a pretty cool cat, you know, loves peace, only fights when he has to. And uh, anyways, he dies. And so his like, all of his knowledge and power and his essence leaves his planet and comes to our planet, trying to find like a new host, but like can't really find anybody it's interested in. So it takes a break and that's where we're at right now. The essence is kind of tired of searching and so it's taking a little rest and a piece of bread. So, which is going to be taken down and fed to the ducks by Eleanor here, matronly old woman. All right, what page are you on? I've drawn seven, and now I'm just going back in and kind of coloring them. I'm going one color at a time. Where's, it, where's the story at? The, the story is that he's just gotten the, the power from the bread, and he's told his duck friends, and the woman who gave him the bread just got hit by a car. Why'd she get hit by a car? Just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> uh, just a way to get her out of the scene. Yeah, so like the main character's name is Red, so he, the main duck character's name is Red, so he's obviously a red duck. And then here he is eating the bread, and then he goes and tells his friends that he's now the smartest duck. What's he gonna do with his genius? Um, well, he's, gonna, he's gonna not get one of his, well, I don't know if I should spoil the surprise or not. All right, it's 8.17, it's been 10 hours, I'm on page 10, but page 10 was, I spent a good time coloring some of these, but uh, I'm not all that nervous because I think that if I just focus on the pencils and kind of push through on the pencils, uh, it'll be no problem. Plus the pencils at this point are a lot more simple than they were at the beginning of the story. Where is the story at so, now? Well, right, I think last time we spoke, he's gotten the, uh, the he's really intelligent at this point, but now he's at the point where all the other ducks are making fun of him. They don't believe him that he's smart, so they, you know, they keep making fun of him, and he's starting to think about ways to end his life. So that's the part we're at right now. What's Pretty coming? What's coming up? Oh, some drama, baby. Some hardcore drama. How are you feeling? Uh, I just woke up. Yeah. <laughs> so how are you feeling? I'm ready to go to bed now. But did it? Got done uh, pencils about three o'clock. I guess it's seven forty right now. Kind of just got done with the inks or the color as far as I wanted it to go. Quite <laughs> like. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I pretty much, I didn't, I just wanted, the, there's two ducks that are the main characters, blue and red. And on their way home, blue thinks he sees a, uh, sees a girl duck, so he goes down to check it out, and it's a little uh, decoy. So these hunters shoot blue, and red freaks out because it's his best friend. And so he kind of yells, chews out this like hunting dog, and then he attacks using the power of this warrior king. He attacks the hunter and uh, pretty much kind of rips him up, you know? Check that out, isn't that messed up? And then you see the hunter here, he's missing a finger, he's all bloody. But Red decides it's not the cool thing to do to kill this guy, so he lets him live. And then he goes home, and all the ducks are making fun of him. But uh, in the end, it turns out that Violet just left because she had to fly south with, with her family. So they end up together, and they have an egg.